In general terms, wireless microphone systems were designed for one important purpose, to give actors more freedom by eliminating the cable that connects the microphone to the sound system. Think how this has impacted musicals alone. Actors can use the entire stage as they dance without dragging a cable behind them. Generally speaking, one wireless system replaces one standard wired microphone in a typical sound system. Wireless microphones have become really popular as their sound quality and reliability has increased while their costs have continued to drop. A wireless system consists of three main components, an input device, a transmitter, and a receiver. The input device provides the audio signal that will be sent out by the transmitter. It may be a microphone, such as a handheld, a headset, or even a lavalier type. There are even wireless systems designed for use with electric guitars, but the input device to a belt pack type transmitter is most often a lavalier or headset type microphone. Now, the process of selecting the microphone component of your wireless system, in terms of pickup pattern and frequency response, is exactly the same as for selecting a wired microphone to be used in the same application. The fact that a microphone is wireless doesn't change any of the acoustic issues such as proper microphone selection and placement. Remember, all that the wireless system does is eliminate the mic cable and all the laws of physics, acoustics, and audio still apply. The transmitter converts the audio signal created by the microphone to a radio signal which is sent to the receiver through the air. Think of it as the difference between the cordless phone in your house that everyone fights over and the old one with the wire on it that no one wants to use anymore. Depending upon the model, the antenna may stick out from the bottom of the transmitter or it may be hidden inside. The distance that the